Great question. Great question. <clears throat> now, classical tri Christian theologian, like Origen of Alexandria, have you heard of Origen? Origen is uh, probably the most, most prolific of the pre-Nicene fathers. He wrote over a thousand books, uh, although he was eventually declared a heretic um, in 553. Most of the early church fathers were actually declared heretics, but Christianity is very much indebted to Origen for his great works um, on first principles. So Origen believed that scripture has multiple levels of meaning, right? In fact, he said infinite levels of meaning. So there's an apparent meaning, a contextualized or historical meaning, an exoteric meaning, and then there are esoteric meanings, or foreshadowings, or typologies of future events. This is classical Christian uh, exegesis of the biblical text. Uh, so, for example, um, Origen would say that uh, you know, there's, there's stories in the Old Testament that seem to indicate the coming of Christ. Now, eventually, Origen was condemned for that belief. But interestingly, um, Matthew also believed that. And Matthew is an evangelist who wrote a gospel. But Christians are not about to condemn Matthew. Uh, so Matthew will actually quote from the Old Testament and say, Look, uh, a virgin conceived, and his name is Emmanuel. And this is a reference to Christ. Um, but if you go back to Isaiah, right, chapter 7, and you read chapter 8, Emmanuel is born uh, in chapter 8. So the Jew would say to the Christian, what are you talking about? This has nothing to do with Jesus. This is very contextualized. It's dealing with a sign that Isaiah gave to King Ahaz, and this child is born in chapter 8, and then the Christian would retort and say, however, there are multiple esoteric meanings of Scripture. That's what Matthew would have said, who wrote a gospel. So my contention is, and maybe it's not a description of the Prophet Muhammad, but it's a very uncanny, I think you would agree if you read the entire section and then compared it to uh, Shemaya literature, it's, it's, it's very close to a description of the Prophet. So one would say, for example, well, this is a, des a description of Solomon, a woman describing her husband, or what that origin would say, well, that's the, the exoteric context. But there is a foreshadowing, there's a Mohammedan typology in this type of thing as well. So my basis for saying that is classical Christian exegesis and evangelists, whom Christians believe are inspired by God. And Christians believe Matthew is inspired by God. And he believed that very same thing, that scripture has multiple levels of meaning.